Welcome to Growing with the Woodpile, and today I'm going to be doing a garden update. It's been a couple weeks since I've been up to the ranch doing the horse drive, and uh, thought we'd have uh, what's going on, what what is surviving, why I'm gone. Now I do have everything on drip. Well, not everything. My green stalks over there aren't on drip. I have to have my son come out and water them. But it's amazing how much a garden can change in just a couple of weeks. But one thing that hasn't changed is Garden Kitty. Huh. Garden Kitty's still here. They usually go up to the ranch with me, but my son has begged me to let them stay. And um, we'll see. All right, the view from my favorite, my favorite seat in the garden, there's a little chair I have underneath this little trellis. And I can overlook the garden. This was a dicarton radish down here. He, um, he was alive when I left. I picked out a bunch of these seed pods and I can come back in here and pick them again. I, I should just pull him. It's just, I don't know why I let, let him stay. But I do. Um, I did interplant a, I'm pretty sure a Kajari melon back there. And these were the carrots that I, very confused, I was told that they take um, the second year that they flower. And they flowered like, like right away. And there's two or three down in there, but look at these big, beautiful white seed heads. You can see this one's probably older here. But it's neat to see, you know, that's where carrot seed comes from. And there's several melons in here. I'm not sure what kinds I've actually planted. This guy was laying on the ground right here, and I, I kind of weaved him up through the trellis. Over here, um, I did replant some melons. And they're not doing super great, but we're just going to let them be, see if they do anything. Did... I'm not sure if I replanted him, this one, and this marigold's not doing so great. More melon over there, I can see it's, it's starting to trellis. Over here is the parsley that went to seed. I, I did put um, some roselle hibiscus seeds in there, but they didn't come up. I got some chamomile right here. You know, I try to do a quick garden tour, but it always gets too involved. So we'll try to keep moving here. Roselle hibiscus and some thyme. I do need to come out and do some maintenance while I'm here. Uh, let's see what was in here. This was some um, some squash. It says it was uh, scallop squash. They didn't do so well. I would replanted some cantaloupe in here. These both came up, so I'm just going to pull one out. Um still having a watering problem with the fabric bags uh, this is uh, the melon coming from over there and these are some squashes in here that are starting to bounce back a little bit the decoy butternut squash he just doesn't get flowers on him so yeah the Lemon squash right here is starting to get big. I probably should have taken one out. Yeah, probably should have. The pepper beds over here are, are making me nervous. They're having so many issues. They are dying back. They get these little nubs. I've tried to find to see if uh, I have a bug issue and I just don't know what it is. And I just don't think they're gonna survive. Um, there's not any leaf growth. I should probably just go ahead and pull these peppers off to see if they'll bounce back. Uh, these are the shishito peppers. They're not very big. Yeah, but I, I just don't know what's going on. I don't know if it's a soil thing. What type of thing is it? Garden Kitty, you got any knowledge for us? Got some peppers I need to come out and, and pick. There's this one. Right here, I think it's a yellow canary that I need to come get. But none of them just look great. It's so weird, so sad. Uh, I probably should pull out the calendula. There's some straw flower here. This big, huge flower plant 
I, it is probably four feet tall. The water just kicked on. Got a pepper plant back there. Got another pepper plant in there. It's doing okay even though it gets shaded out. The eggplants aren't doing well. Ooh, looks like I still have a flat-footed leaf bug problem. Me right there. The tomato plants, I haven't done any maintenance. I haven't came out here at all. And, um, yeah, there's another leaf bug guy right there and back there. And I need to come out and get my gloves on. All these tomatoes are either damaged from the birds or the leaf bugs. So they're a pain in my buttocks. All the romas I had here when I left, they are not doing so great. I have been discouraged with leaf bugs and, uh, um, my tomato plants this year. This was a surprise. I think I'm just going to let it take over. This was the cucumelon. I didn't plant any seeds, so I don't know if it's a tubular coming up or, um, if the seeds I did plant it, because I did have to replant several times, if that is, they are just blooming. Pulling off some purple basil flowers. Keep it moving. I know, I love to talk about my plants. This was the lunchbox pepper that were orange last year. I saved seeds. And yeah, it's it's not the same. But look how these are little red ones. And uh, oh, take that back. That's a mini red. So he is what he is supposed to be. And over here is the lunchbox. And he is orange. Now, these were my absolute favorite last year. Let's see if I can pull one off. They were just nice and orange and sweet. So that's a happy moment there. I'm glad that they're coming out. This zinnia flower just needs to be pulled. I need to deadhead some of this. these flowers. And here's a little tomato, little tomato section here. Over here in the tomato, tomato bed, Mm, it was a potato bed. Potato bed. And it was just um, these two ones back here that are dying. I did plant some roselles. And there's some four o'clocks in here that I went ahead and put other things in it. Because all of the potatoes died. I do have one tomato plant right here that is looking pretty healthy. Um, need to kind of pin him up. Got some more tomatoes going on over here. Some lettuce that went to seed. And this is a, another sweet pepper plant. Looks like there's a nice one right here. Oh, oh look at that. Got some, got some peppers to do something with. It's a zinnia that self-seeded. It's kind of pretty, kind of like it. I'd rather have pinks than oranges, but I'm I'm starting to come around to the orange ones. Now, this was the trick-or-treat that has never put on any fruit. He's supposed to be a jalapeno um, without the heat. My Paul Robesons are looking good, but I'm afraid now, once they've got big enough, um, they're not going to put on any flowers because it is hot. The pear tomato plant. Um, He's okay. Oh, here we go. Right there. Let me see if I can. If you can see him right here. It's not focusing. Let me see if I go in and back out. All right. I think he's um. He's a guy that I don't mind eating my parsley. This is parsley throughout here. I tried to thin it out a while ago. My tomatillos back there died off. I do need to probably just tear that tomato plant out. Got some basil in here. Another calendula. Got some peppers going on over here. These were the Italian um, Carmiana that are sweet. Got a bunch of buckalos back there. I need to get my gloves on. This was a banana pepper. My banana peppers seem to do the best. I did replant some melons in here, but it looks like they didn't come up. 
My green stocks are doing well. My son has been been coming out and watering them for me. I'll need to do that in a little bit. There's huge basil plants in here. I will need to... What are you? It says you're an African daisy, but that's not an African daisy. Do need to come out on these and pull these flowers off of this basil. But green stock's doing okay. Beets, I need to pull these beets out. They've been there way too long. And then this is my Napa, Napa tomato plant back here that's doing well. Some more basil. And I think my okra, it did finally come up. Hopefully it'll start surviving. You know what these are? This is the amaranth. And it looks like I have two okra plants right there that came up. I'll need to thin him out. I did plant some okra over here. Looks like they are now coming up. <laughs> you can tell that there's two. I finally started getting frustrated. I reseeded and reseeded and nothing was coming up. And then, then they decided to. I knew there was some over here too. Here he is. And here's some. There's, yeah. I always try to plant them by a water emitter so I know that they're getting getting some. And then, then two. Now I have, have some. There's a garden kitty number two. Tomato plant. These were supposed to be trellising beans here and they don't, they're not attaching. So I don't know if I planted the wrong seed. Cosmo. Cucumber plants are staying small. Don't know what's going on there. See, these are already putting on beans. And they're not trellising, so I may have got my, my stuff mixed up. Yeah, spearmint going to seed. I didn't know it did that, so I'm going to pluck that off. And that whole thing came out. That's okay. I got a lot of mint. An echinacea plant, just because I wanted to. Do need to come in here and thin out some of this green stalk. Um, bee balm is flowering and at its end stages. This is the mint basil, not, no, lemon basil. Interplanted with other basils. Got some chamomile here. I don't know if they're gonna last if once I move them up to the ranch. I don't know if they'll stay bounced back. Carrots here that I need to pull out. Not a whole lot going on in this these beds down here because I thought these cucumbers would get big and take over. And they're just not. Oregano, thyme, some more mint, some more basil. Now, pepper plants that are hit and miss on what's going on. Got some poblanos back here that aren't super huge. These are the, see, all of this weird damage at the top. I just don't know what's going on. The beans here, um, bush beans, they are all drying up. I think it's a heat thing. And see, there's no leaves on this. I do not, I, I don't see any, any caterpillars or anything. So I just don't know what's going on. The, there is some cayenne peppers down in there. Basil. These were the uh, Mamma Mia peppers. They're doing amazing now. But right next to it are the jalapenos that are destroyed. I, I just really don't know what's going on. The random melon plant that seeded itself. These were beans, the rattlesnake beans back here. I was able to um, at least get some harvest off of them. Cosmo, that was a poppy that is now done. Uh, lavender here in the middle, surrounded by some mint. Four o'clock. <laughs> strawberries that are a little on the old side now that the bugs didn't get them but I wasn't here to pick them and eat them myself pretty sure that's either fennel or some type of dill some basil in here so I'm probably going to go through I need to take these bags off pull out the strawberries see what strawberries are savable but overall the garden's doing okay um, it is summer it is June we're going into our hottest time of the year 
I probably will also pull out this melon today. Oh, he's starting to crack. He needs to come out. Let's see if I can do that. Peppers in pocket. Hopefully there's no buggies. Any buggies on you? And <laughs> he's all cracked all over the place. So, maybe he'll put on some more. I'm not saying he's not bad. I'm still going to cut him open and try. But he, he is. Let me push him out into the yard. Go out into the yard. Go be free. So, I have some things I need to do. I need to pull off some peppers. Maybe I'll try fertilizing these jalapenos to see if they'll bounce back. But thank you for learning and growing with the wood pile. Where everything is coming into the summer heat.